This podcast is powered by The Plug. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you or your company are looking to jump into the podcast world, now is the time. The Plug Agency is here to connect you to the full power of podcasting. You just record and leave the rest to us. The people are listening and want to hear from you. Theplug-agency.com. That's theplug-agency.com. Click the link in the episode description for an exclusive offer. tribe good morning good afternoon good evening wherever this um podcast finds you just want to welcome you tribe i missed you much um we have a fabulous guest in studio today and so you know what i do is illuminate incredible people in the community people that are doing what they do in the community and may or may not be getting um the illumination that's needed. Well, I don't know. I'll take that back because Miss Shaw is is so dope. She's gotten all these awards and different things. Um, you know, she's definitely been recognized as being recognized. But we're going to get her to some of our tribe. So you guys know what she's doing. So with that being said, um, Miss Shana, tell us about who you are and what you're doing and don't be shy she always said like yo I don't do this I'm like yo but do this do this someone needs to hear someone needs to know um, who you are and what you're doing out there in the community um, thank you for having me absolutely um, it's an honor I'm an honor to be here um, I'm Shayna Shaw I'm the executive director of the compound of compassion um, I also have Infinite Compassion, which is an LLC, a PASA, that cares for people who live with disabilities. And um, we're just out here trying to care for our community the best way possible, make sure that we fill in the gaps and stand in the gaps for um, those who um, may not have the opportunity to, or the skill set, mindset, mm-hmm. um, economical structure to be able to do so hmm. tell us a little bit tell us a little bit more delve a little bit deeper into um what you're doing well, and then and then tell us about the accolades that you got because <laughs> of what you're doing and the struggles we're gonna you know we're gonna kind of balance it out and let's let's just talk yeah because that's it's so 360 right mm-hmm. um being in Community work, nonprofit work, um, the rewards are not those that most would be used to. Um, the gratification comes when somebody, you know, has made a change in their lives mm-hmm. or their lives have been altered for the better because of how you've shown up for them. So um, that's where, to me, where the most gratifying rewards are. Um, but I am grateful for the fact that people have taken time to recognize the work that we're doing in community as well. Mm-hmm. Tell us about who, who's who's um, highlighted you. Um, well, we received the um, Dr. Martin 
Luther King Jr. Award in 2020 for community service um, through the city of Aurora. Yes. Um, we have received um, just recently the um, community service um, award from the city of Aurora um, as an organization doing uh, youth violence prevention and intervention. So, um, yeah, those are just a few that come. Oh, wow. How can, how can the community um, get involved to help you to continue to do what you're doing? How can the community help? Um, show up. You know, we're, we're out there. We're out there every day right now. We're doing a summer camp mm -hmm. for youth um, at Global Village Academy West Campus. Um, and we're so grateful for them um, opening their doors and allowing us to be in the space. Um, and they're doing a performing arts camp and literacy, so academics in the day. And they're doing a production of The Wiz. Ooh. Um, so they're practicing that. <laughs> and it's uh, the youth, you know, they do all of the scripting. I'm um, in partnership with VPAC, um, Dr. Asset. <laughs> and um, that amazing group of people and all youth choreographers, all youth scripted, read, led everything. And the kids are just so, it's so amazing to just see how brilliant our babies are. And when they have that space to be creative, what comes out of them is just, I'm telling you, if you just come and sit just in practice, you're just, you're odd the whole day you know they're just so intelligent so we have that um we're getting ready to do a youth thrive for youth training which is a um, strengthening families framework mm -hmm. um that teaches youth and young adults um the effects that trauma has on the brain so that they can better understand what they're going through and why and to know that these things are actually natural in their development mm -hmm. And that it's going to be okay when they have that knowledge and can understand what's going on inside of them chemically and emotion as well as emotionally. They can make better decisions and choices for how they choose to respond and react. That is so dope because after 32 years of working with um, adolescents, I know that that is a valuable, very valuable um skill and information that they're going to be getting so that they can navigate. Um, I think that that's tremendous. I can't wait to um, uh, partner and just be a part of what you're doing. I'm Absolutely. really excited about um, the future and what's going to what's <laughs> going to come. You know what I mean? I'm really, really excited and I'm really excited to have you in studio. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the struggles because we're here to we're here to help. Um, I'm here to let you know that it is about you. It's about me. It's about us. It's about yeah. us in the community. It's about what we're doing, living our purpose, and to actually see how living our purpose is affecting, um, inspiring others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To live yeah. their purpose and to you know just be their best self and. In the, the climate that we're living right now, it is it is more needed now than ever before yes. to actually identify your purpose, like identify what you need to be doing on the planet right now. Absolutely. So I think it's so dope. So you know, share with us a, a little bit about the struggles because it's a it's it's a crazy time. I was listening today to an interview with um, Taraji, who just said that she was exhausted. Um, about the the pressures of being black in America and just fighting that constant fight um, for peace and for justice and my God so that's a whole nother workshop but I just thought like you know just to really balance it out and to be real and be transparent speak to us tell us about um, some of the struggles I mean. I think the struggles are a part of the purpose, you know, um, and that's kind of where you find 
who you are as an individual and how much you've grown and how much growing you still have to do. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's been the case for me um, over these last couple of years um, as a nonprofit in a city that um, is speak something like 211 different languages, but the people who represent the city don't exemplify that diversity. So, um, and I'm born and raised in Aurora, so mm -hmm. I know Aurora. I've been there for 46 years, and mm -hmm. so. Um, Yo, it's Julius, and I just made traveling easier with the Motorized Scooter Suitcase. Let me say it again. Motorized Scooter Suitcase. Yeah, that's right. The luggage has got a built-in electric motor. So the suitcase, I can ride it and glide through the airport or the train station, through downtown, and it all fits in the overhead storage bin. No more crowded terminals trying to say, excuse me, y'all gonna see me gliding through there. I can hop in and off the light rail like it's no problem. I'm not struggling to carry these heavy ass bags of podcast equipment anymore. All you gotta do is just click the link in the episode description that says smart suitcase. Click smart suitcase and see what I'm talking about. I'm telling y'all, it's going to change the way. If you're traveling, this is going to change everything. Click the link. Let's go. I've watched it um, progress in some places and digress in others. And um, that's where I think the challenges are. I think it's even bigger than that, though. Mm. I think we have to um, just acknowledge that we're in a place where all these systems are starting to break down because of how they were built in the first place. And when you have systems that are built and centered in white supremacy um, and you're dealing with a multitude of cultures of people that you don't celebrate or at least acknowledge, um, it the system turns within itself. You know, it fights itself. So... Um, and we we seen that we seen that in 2020 we seen you know um, the marches the protests the you know even now even today with the um, overturn of Roe versus Wade like <laughs> every system is built for the have nots to struggle and there is a difference between the have and the have nots that's mm -hmm. the way every system was created education justice you know it doesn't matter and so um i think in the nonprofit world it can tend to be that same way you know there's a little bit of funding and you have a lot of people going after it um and not that anyone is less deserving because everybody that's doing the work mm -hmm. should be funded period because they're doing the, they're out there and that's you know not just me that's every single organization that has something that they bring to the table to offer community to be in a better place mm -hmm. that we shouldn't be struggling mm -hmm. to make that happen mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know this is where we are and so mm -hmm. um, we I think until we start to really recognize even as a, a people um, that we are all that we have and we literally have everything we need. Like we are all, we're the creators of, you know, the, the civilizations mm -hmm. <laughs> that we know exist. So we have our bankers, our lawyers, our doctors. We have every single, our educators. We have everything we need. Mm -hmm. We just need to harambe, pull it together, start making it work for us like all these other cultures do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. I think that... Um, I like to have uh, a round table um, speaking to um, the microaggressions, speaking to all those things that we deal with in um, <laughs> systems that are working very well because they were designed and built to do exactly what they're doing. Absolutely. So it's not about, in my judgment anyway, it's not about fixing um those systems but actually annihilating them Absolutely. and like starting from scratch so we're gonna definitely have um 
in a session. We're going to actually talk about that and have a round table. It's going to be really deep and it's going to be really hot. So, yeah. Tribe, y'all be looking out for that. Um, if you have any questions that you want to um, ask Miss Shaw, please put them in the comments. Go on Facebook, put them in, and then I'll get those answers. If she's not in studio the next time, we'll try and get her in here, though, <laughs> um, so that she can answer some of those questions. And I'm, I'm hoping that she'll also be a part of the roundtable when we really get in here and start to disseminate some of those things, um, not being concerned about anyone's fragility <laughs> um you know in regards to what we're talking about because like I said at the end of the day it is about us it is about purpose and living our purpose and some of us our purpose is to do just what we're doing you know what I'm saying in the community and talking about them and not being afraid um to really address the things that um plague us the things that are you know that we are fighting with every single day. So um, please know um, that we are, we just appreciate you guys coming in. Like again, if I said, if you have any questions, any concerns, please put it on Facebook, come on in the room um, and, and have a dialogue with us. I, it'd be my pleasure to, to have you guys share. Um, please subscribe like um, living life on purpose with Tanya please so that we can um, further the agenda you know the agenda that it's about us yeah so we appreciate you guys um, Shay please is there anything you want to say to the people and guys please forgive me my cell phone was on um, <laughs> this is why we're not live <laughs> This is exactly why we're not live because my phone is going off. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yes, anyway, I'm sorry, Miss Shayna. Go ahead, Queen. Tell us. <laughs> talk, talk to the tribe. Tell it's them about us. Yes. This is us. Like, this is who we are as a people. We not, and we're going to stop apologizing for it. Y'all right. know we busy. And y'all know we on this podcast. Why are you ringing our phone? Shoot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's called distractions Listen, and people want to just us. oh my god I love oh it no I um I'm just grateful for this opportunity and this platform and you know just want to say thank you again for having me um for the love that you've been showing me um the mentorship the guidance um the realness you know um I think in order to be the best person that I can be, I have to be around um, women that can teach me because I'm a forever learner. And um, I'm so humbled to be in your space and to learn um, from you, sit at your feet and learn from you. Um, I take pride in being able to do that. So thank you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's gonna have me in here <laughs> crying and carrying on. Real. Um, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just know that you know iron sharpeneth iron, and um, man, you're honored to be at my feet, and I'm honored to have you because, and you know, we oftentimes talk about on the program we've talked about the um, the bridge, the breach um, that's between generations, right? Yeah. And so the elders are expected to teach, Absolutely. right? And the youngsters, we we need the young people. Absolutely. And it's a it's a travesty that the elders don't want to hear, right? They don't want to listen. And then the younger generation, they don't want to listen because, you know what I'm saying? They don't feel like they're even being heard. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's a travesty, but we're going to make this thing work. This thing yes. is going to work. And I think that love, love conquers all. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Love conquers all. I oftentimes refer to that um, movie 300, which I absolutely love. It's It's been life changing. And I oftentimes go back and watch it just so I can see how 300 men, how 300 soldiers, warriors, right, destroyed thousands and thousands. And there was a part in the movie where the guy says, Hey, you only got 300 um, and we have thousands. And he asked, he started asking them. He said, so what are you doing? He said, I'm a 
baker, I'm a carpenter, I'm gonna, yo, that's, I got that's 300 it. warriors, right? That's, that's what we do. So, you know, in that vein, being in that, in that, in that space, it's like we have to do what we have to do. Yeah. And the only way to do that is to, is to bridge those breaches, man. Get those holes filled up Absolutely. because we need one another. Absolutely. And, you know, we are tribal people. It's in us, right? right. It's in our DNA, but we've been taught that it's, you know, this separatism is this, yeah, yeah this me, my phone, no us. more. That's a lie. Yep. It's not sustainable. And nah. so this is another reason why this program was birthed. Because it is about us. Yeah. Let's live our lives on purpose. How much happier we would be and how much more um, fulfilled we would be if we're living in our purpose. Yes. Then things get hard, but we still keep it moving. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We get our Harriet Tubman on. Yo, we're going we gonna to do this. Yo, and you're not going to so stop us. Up. Right. We're going to soldier up. We're going to do what we got to do. So I'm on it. And um, I'm humbled. You know, your words just make me feel really warm and fuzzy inside. So... Yes. You know, and it keeps yes. me going, right? Because some days I get up and I be like, God, yes. like how, Lord, how is this going to get done? Like, you know, I'm tired, I'm wearied. I'm like so many other people that's out there on the front lines. It's like. Compassion for Oh, my God. Is real. It's Absolutely. Real. Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. why we do need each other because we have to be able to. Hold that space, mm -hmm. you know, um, doctors get together and they have their group and they, you know, mm -hmm. chat it up about their cases, lawyers, everybody does it so mm -hmm. that they have that opportunity to, you know, just collaborate mm -hmm. and, and bounce off of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. the thing that is disheartening a lot of times in this community is that it becomes um, a takeaway instead of a give to. And I, I'm determined that every single relationship that I build is to build and not take down or not take away from because that's so important in our community. We have to rebuild the trust within one another. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to trust. I have to believe mm -hmm. that there are women who have my heart and my, my intention. Otherwise, I might as well just lay down and die. Yeah. There's no hope, you know. Mm -hmm. So... I believe that I attract who I am. And when there's areas that I need to grow, mm -hmm. I attract that too. And mm -hmm. it bothers me when mm -hmm. I see it in somebody else mm -hmm. because I, mm -hmm. I know it to be the case for myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm always learning, always growing, and always just wanting to be in an environment where I'm, I'm, I'm humble enough and broken enough to be, to be taught, you know, because no matter how bad the situation is, I can learn something from it. Absolutely. Wow. With that, I just want you to know that you are um, not ordinary, but extraordinary, <laughs> right? That you are um, seriously um, just a dope individual. And, you know, if there is a limit, it's definitely the stratosphere, right? If yeah. there is a limit. And if not, then... You know, it's that it's and beyond. So, yeah, it's going to keep going. <laughs> so just keep loving on yourself. Keep loving Thank on you. the people that you're loving on. We got you. We got keep your back. Absolutely. We got you. And we're going to get through this. We're going to get through Absolutely. this together. So, again, Miss Shaw, thank you so much for being in the studio. Know that you're loved. And um, like I said, I got you. We we get ready to do something. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they messed up. Oh my god. <laughs> so listen, with that child, we're out of here. But listen, if you have any questions, concerns, Put it in the comments. You can be, you can hear us on all uh, media, social media platforms, whether that's, uh, I just found out today that you can hear me on Alexa, which I love, because I got Alexa. On, so I'm Alexa. getting ready to, yeah, I'm getting ready to <laughs> holler at Alexa. Um, uh, Apple, uh, podcasts, uh, Spotify, all of it. You can see us on Facebook and Instagram. Please share, like, subscribe. If you want to be on, just get get with me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know that you want to be in studio. If you want to see somebody in studio, let me know. Any questions, concerns, let us know. Love you, tribe. Do what you do and know that we need each other. Holla. Holla.